Right then, so if I'm going to use the, the quotient rule is really the only one that I write out fully. So my f of x is co secant 2x. So if I look it up, differentiating cosecant is minus cosecant cot. So f dash of x is minus, I've got to differentiate the 2, and then it's cosecant of 2x, that doesn't change, cot of 2x. So it's pretty big, that isn't it, really? So just double check, make sure I've got it right. So cosecant is cosecant cot. So I've still got the 2x's in there and the 2's at the front. Uh, g of x is a bit on the bottom, which is x squared. So g dash of x is 2x. And if you remember when you use the quotient rule, it's f dash of x g of x minus So f dash of x g of x is that. It's them two times together. So it's the minus 2 cosecant 2x cot 2x times by x squared. So that's minus 2x squared cosecant 2x cot 2x minus f of x times g dash of x, which is cosecant x times by 2x. So that's a 2x cosecant of 2x, no, is it? Yeah, 2x. Yeah. All over the bottom line square. Yeah. So what I've got is something that looks really, really messy. I don't normally cancel down because I might be doing um, stationary points with it and the bottom line disappears. But if you look, an x will cancel. Nothing else will cancel. So I end up with it's just an absolute monster to write down. Oh, that'd be a 2x there, wouldn't it? Uh, that'd be a 2x in there. That's my two. Stop there for that one. There. Alright, let's have a look at the next one. So that's just a, it's just messy. It's using the formula, but it's just messy to look at. Right then. So D, differentiating logs. If you remember, if you're differentiating a log, you differentiate inside the bracket over the original bracket. So that's inside the bracket. So my dy by dx. So I differentiate tan 4x. It's 4 from the chain rule. Secant squared 4x over what it was before, which is tan 4x. There. Now then, if you're really sneaky, you can do some more maths because it asks us to leave the answer in terms of cosecant. Okay, right, so let's split it first as 4 secant squared 4x times by 1 over <coughs> tan 4x, sorry. <coughs> and then if I write the secant squared as 1 over cos squared, So I've got 4 over cos squared times by. Now tan is sine over cos, so 1 over tan is cos over sine, it's cot. Now the if you look what will cancel, the cos will cancel with one of the cos's on the top. So I've got dy by dx is now 4 over cos x times, oh, cos 4x, cos 4x, not cos x. Cos 
4x times sine 4x. Now I want it in terms of cosecant, and cosecant is 1 over sine. So I need to make that in terms of 1 over sine. So this bit's a little bit sneaky. I know that, um, that sine of 2x is 2 sine x cos x. If I replace the x with a 4x, then sine of 8x, because it's gone 4, this has gone 4 times bigger, is 2 lots of sine 4x cos x, cos 4x. Now if I'm even more sneaky, because I want the 2 on the bottom, can I see 8, or see c 4, sorry, is 8 over 2? If it is, then I can be really sneaky. I can replace the eight with a with a with a sorry replace the eight replace the four with an eight over two lots of so that's the four and the cos four x sine uh, oh, I'm gonna hang on do I want to do that. Gone where I'm at now. Um, hang on, I'm, I'm running a risk of stuffing up my answer here. The if I kind of think of the, the two sine x, two sine four x cos four x is sine of eight x. I've only got uh, that bit that I want to replace, so that's like a half of the sine eight x. There. So what I should get now is a two and a half. That might. I don't think I necessarily needed to change the four into a two, an eight over two, but it kind of still works. So that gives me eight cosecant eight x. You might not be happy, overly happy with what I've done here, because what I've kind of said. I said all right. That must mean then that a half sine of 8x is just equal to the sine 4x cos 4x there. So it's a little bit messy how I've done it. But you get down to the right answer anyway. If you've got a better way of moving from there to there, which doesn't confuse you, it's this little bit here with the numbers to make sure you get the 8. It's important. There, so that's that bit done now. So we finish that. So well done.